Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today I want to talk about a controversy that seems to be kind of shaking up the Splinterlands space. It has to do with Ui Ui, who is a fixture at the highest levels of silver on the leaderboards, always on the leaderboards, con consistently winning tournaments, as well as Schnappoon, and additionally even Half Blue. These are three Japanese players that, have, that are very talented in this game and that have come under re recent scrutiny for perhaps trading wins to try and exploit and climb the leaderboards now that's the allegation i'm not saying that's happening i want to talk about it I, there, there seems to be some evidence to look at and maybe some posts and we can we can go through and kind of pick apart to try and formulate opinions it seems to me like there's there's room for further clarity but also i think uh, there's we have to take everything with a grain of salt because it seems to me that there's there's cause for at least concern around possible in, the influence of jealousy on these sorts of allegations. We're going to talk about all of that and and my views on it in this video. If you're interested, stick around, stay tuned. Before we get into it, my name is Dwayne Cunningham. I go by Infidel1258. You can call me 12. Leave a comment on the video with your IGN. And if I can get back to you, I will send you a thank you in DEC or SPS. Okay. So you can see right at the top of the board here, we got Ui Ui. Um, he's a Japanese player and he recently did an interview with Ashley NFT gaming and also Schnappoon number two. And the interview was, is on Ashley's channel. You should check it out. She's got 521 views at this point. It was posted yesterday. So it's a, it's a popular video. It's got 92 likes, which is great to see. And these guys are very talented Splinterlands players and I guess there was some concern that they were the same person. They clearly aren't. There was also some concern that they were working together to allow um, each other to climb the ranks. That seems to me to be the main allegation. And as a result, they were kicked. They were all kicked out of Zen sports tournaments. And that's a big deal because this get, the Zen sports tournaments is a component of how this game is going to grow. And it's a, it's a function of the, I guess, the financial opportunity that's within here. Because if you, the esports component to Splinterlands is going to be a future revenue, it's going to be an attraction. It's going to be part of why this system grows, why this this space continues to thrive. And if they're being outed as a result of uh, perhaps bad choices or uh, maybe cheating, then that's w one worth noting. And two, if their allegations are false and they're being ostracized and kicked out wrongly, that's also worth noting. I don't know what the answer is, but it was great to watch Ashley's Ashley's interview. You guys should check out her channel, Ashley NFT Gaming. She covers Splinterlands and she does a good job with it. Um, and this interview was was no was exactly that super quality. I found it very entertaining. These guys speak Japanese and so does Ashley, so then they were able to converse. Uh, Half Blue uh, speaks English, so he contributes. Um, he speaks in English in some of his answers. Great interview, and there's a second part coming out shortly. So. Stay tuned to her channel for more information on that. But here's the thing. Ui Ui also posted a blog post on Hive. You can get, you can read it on Peak D. And the the post is very long. Um, I won't, it's a seven minute read. But he one of his main statements or their main statements is that they're not bots. And I guess people were thinking that they were either those accounts were bots or that they were all one person or uh, there was something fishy going on between those three people. And it seems to me now from Ashley's interview that they're clearly individuals and that they are, I mean, they have their own Twitters and their own YouTubes. You can check them out. The links were on Ashley's channel and they're here again. And without, you know, the, the I can summarize the situation as this. Ui Ui and Schnappoon have and um half blue have been accused that they are trading wins using running bots and win trading in order to climb the rank battle league and to claim the leaderboard and in addition zen sports recently uh kicked them out of their tournaments banning them from all future tournaments claiming that there's been evidence of win trading and community outrage over their particip their continued participation in these tournaments. So the question lingers, one, are these allegations founded? Meaning like, are they accurate? Is there actual evidence of cheating? Or 
is this jealousy that's rearing its ugly head in the form of accusations? I don't know, but I read this whole turn, this whole post from Ui Ui, and it seems to me that, and listening to Ashley's video, it seems to me that they are earnest. All three of them are earnest in their interest and desire to participate in Splinterlands and let it that, uh, you know, be a part of their future financial opportunity. Like I think they really like this game and they really want to earn with it. Um, they, there's no counter evidence pr pr uh, pr provided in this seven minute read by Ui Ui uh, that would really, I guess, deny or prove the wrongfulness of the accusations. They just, he just simply denies that this is not happening. And I don't know what to say, except that here's one thing I've noticed is that Ui Ui has been in my tournaments that I've held over the months that I've been here and has won some really great prizes through those tournaments and then has very generously just given those away. Uh, I gave away a level four. I think it was a level four. What was it? Um, it was one of the chaos summoners for the death team. I'm forgetting his name right now. And Ui Ui won it and then just turned around and gave it away on his own Twitter, which was super cool. Like he didn't need to do that. If, if his sole interest is really extracting money from the system and, and you know, being uh, singular minded in, in, in that effort, it doesn't seem to me that that's consistent with him just giving away a, a summoner for, no, for nothing and for no reason. Um, and that's just one example, but it, it, it makes me believe, it makes me lean towards faith in, in his statement that he's genuine and he's just a family man who likes this game and plays it as like a job really. Um, and then I'll also, I have to know that the fact that Ui Ui and Schnappoon uh, and Half Blue were quite talented at the game, I have to admit, makes me suspicious that any sort of allegations levied at them is in part due to jealousy. I don't know that, I can't prove that. I'm not saying that's definitive. I'm just saying that thought comes to my mind and it probably does to you too, if you think about it. And then I went through and I read the comments and this was interesting. Dave McCoy, who's a very significant kind of commenter in this space. He's been around ever since the Steam days. Um, and he's a big investor in Splinterlands. Wrote and replied to Ui Ui saying, uh, essentially, we can investigate this if you want us to. Independent parties can can look at the blockchain and see, you know, quantify how many, how many times these sort of unsavory forfeits because that's what's part of part of what's happening is Ui Ui is facing somebody and there's a surrender and then Schnappoon is facing the same person and it surrenders it's like is that a bot that's 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 programmed when it faces Ui Ui it surrenders I don't know maybe Dave says he feels they can they, he says um a full investigation would lead to even oh let's see help you because they don't want to see you. people will will help you because they don't want to see you unfairly penalized so if you're truly without wrongdoing then message me on discord and i'll try to help dave mccoy 2479 so this is a person who's big in the space willing to step up and lead the charge in terms of investigating this if we, we and the other guys want that to happen now it kind of it sucks that that has to happen because here's my my view on this and this is it's like are you innocent until proven guilty? Or are you guilty until proven innocent? What's the question? What is it? Because really, it seems to me like from reading the blog post here, or I'm sorry, the, the, the ban from Zen Sports that because of cr crowd outrage and the presumption of, of win trading, they've been banned permanently and they need to now clear their own names. And so that to me feels like they're they're guilty until proven innocent, which is unfortunate. I don't think that's that's right. That makes me concerned about what's happening here. It makes me concerned that there's there's certain angry voices that are that are dissenting and, and really triggering um, judgment before proof. And then here's but here's the thing. So I guess I'm what I'm saying is in part. I hope Dave McCoy. I hope Ui Ui does, for, you know go ahead and contact Dave McCoy and that they do investigate and that they do find, get to the bottom of it, whether it's innocence or guilt. I, I really would like to see that, but I'm concerned because I know how these sorts of sometimes when there's finger pointing, even an investigation is not going to alleviate that. 
it's like once a conspiracy takes hold, it's like certain minds will never let it go. So let's see what comes of this. I'm going to be paying attention and I think you should too. But before we go, that's, that's kind of, that's, I have a lot of questions and then I scrolled down further. This is interesting. One of the, I guess one of the allegations or some of the allegations came from Kira 1995 who commented and said, the concern was not that there were bots per se, but mainly that there was wind trading activity on the accounts and that all the accounts seemed to have as one instead of a, uh, as their own and had a large number of network network of accounts throwing and funneling rank points up the chain, which is typically only possible if at least part of the network is run in automation when the numbers are so big. So he's Kira is alleging that they, there's a that either Ubi Ubi or Ubi Ubi and Schnappoon or maybe Half Blue, maybe the whole three of them work together and have a network of bots that are throwing to these specific accounts, allowing them to climb and get those win rates um, that, that I showed earlier. This is a big allegation and he, he's got tons of different posts. I guess he's been following, uh, he's been investigating, Kira has been investigating the matter and taking screenshots of, of some of the throws. And you can see uh, Verak, Verutokid one played this guy uh, and one played put forward a proper team and, and won and then the same player plays Schnappoon and doesn't submit a team and this happens over and over and over again and that same name Verutokid um, loses to Schnappoon with perhaps a questionable team submission that's I guess the argument here See, this is where it gets a bit concerning to me. This is this is finger pointing. This this first of all, this happens. You know as well as I do that there are times where you go to submit a team and you just you're distracted, you run out of time. And also, I suspect there are people who like seeing Schnappoon and um <clears throat> Ui Ui at the top of the boards. So much so that, that occasionally they will throw for them on purpose. I don't think that's a good thing. But that happens uh, in life. If you if you think about it, it's like if there becomes reverence for a certain player and you come up against them. Uh, I've seen, I've played in Fallout. I've, I've watched, uh, what have I watched? On like, um, not Overwatch, Apex Legends. Some of my favorite players, who, it's a first person shooter. And some of my favorite players will go, f they'll be fighting in a game and they're famous YouTubers. And then it gets discovered that they're in a game and everybody stops playing. Like you're in a, you're in a, you're in a, a room full of 60 players. They find out that so-and-so is streaming and they're in this game. And then what happens? Everyone stops fighting and they go find, they seek out like, as if they're, they're all on the same team. Now they go find the famous YouTuber just to be, it's, it's literally, it's an act of throwing. It's like giving up on the game. So that sort of infamy can result in this. So I don't, I don't not saying that I'm answering, I'm not defending what I'm seeing here. I'm just saying, I'm just thinking it through and I'm asking, is there another solution? And there's a lot of pictures here. And so I'm not going to say that this isn't maybe concerning or raising a question to me. It is. Um, and I'm glad to see that um, Dave McCoy and hopefully others would want to, I guess, clear the air, investigate and clear the air, because that would be helpful. But I do worry that this finger pointing led to Zen Sports just rolling over and kicking three amazing competitors from their tournaments because of allegations that that, in my opinion, haven't been proven, even though. There, these, this is concerning. I don't see it as verifiable evidence. I don't know how much time was taken between these screenshots. I don't know. Um, you know, I, I just, I don't, I don't know that I, that this, that this presentation of data has convinced me. And that doesn't mean you shouldn't be convinced. I don't know what you th should think. I don't even really know what I think, except that I don't like it when justice gets kind of thrown out the window and allegations lead to punishment. Seems like a real concern to me. And if we get talented players and I, and I, if we get talented players and we start saying they're too good and we get angry at them because they continue to beat us, that that's to me sounds like jealousy. Now I'm not trying to point fingers at Kira, but let's, let's be clear. Kira's number three on the leaderboard behind Uwe and Schnappoon. 
So, I mean, and he's got, look at, Kira's got 59 consecutive wins. That's amazing. That sounds really, really, really amazing. So I would have said 63 was, is, is unbelievable, but I also feel 59 is unbelievable. My biggest ever is, I think, 23. Um, so my point is, these guys are all amazing. And I don't know that a few records, even if there are a lot of records that are showing there was a throw or this team that they submitted was kind of really weak. And maybe that implies that they wanted to throw the game. I just don't know. And I think this is a very serious allegation. And I thought it made it, it, it merited um, observation and conversation for two reasons. One, Ashley NFT Gaming is an amazing channel that you guys should know about and you should be following. Um, and she covers really interesting stuff like this. And two, this is like a, a significant moment for Splinterlands where where the crowd is attempting to govern itself. This is blockchain at work, where we attempt to govern ourselves, hopefully through justice, hopefully in fairness, hopefully accurately. And I just, I just, I just hope and pray that, that that's happening. And I'm not convinced it is right now. It looks to me, and I, I'll, I'll be, I will admit, I am late to this conversation. I don't know all of the details. I'm not saying I do. I just am saying it looks to me like this is a lot of finger pointing and I would love to see more clear and independent review of the matter. And uh, I really, I guess I hope that Ui Ui, Half Blue and Schnappoon approach Dave McCoy as invited to and have that independent analysis because if you, if they didn't do it, I really want them to be cleared of this. and and. I've seen generosity from at least Dewey, you know, it, and to me, it's noteworthy. So I, I'm leaning towards innocent until proven guilty. And I don't feel that the proof has been substantial enough to me. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Like I said, if you have any questions, drop your IGN with it. And I will send some thank you uh, when I get around to doing videos for your comment. Thank you guys for your time and attention. Have an amazing day. God bless.